guys, Mickey from Hopcat Tool. One last review for today. So there is a series of reviews being done over the course of the day. They all collate into one sitting, one session of beers. Um, I'll save this one till last because it's been a real favourite of mine. I've had it a couple of times. Um, don't think I've ever really done a review on it. Um, so we'll um, get going with this one. Not much space left on the memory card once again, so um, let's get down to it. So it's the Yakima Monster, um, Liberty Brewing, Helensville, New Zealand. Has um, <coughs> got the stamp on this one. Um, showcasing some of the best hop varieties out of um, the United States, particularly um, Yakima Valley. Uh, the can description states get those images of Godzilla and Mothra out of your head I know you were thinking it but this beer has nothing to do with Japan whatsoever Yakima is actually a region in the United States of um, well, in the region in the state of Washington USA where some of my favorite hop varieties are grown um, and some of my uh, most favorite uh, hop varieties are grown also um, over in the Yakima Valley, uh, Yakima Valley Hops um, and Yakima Chief have been some of the, uh, or two of the, the main ones I've dealt with over there. Um, this is a monster of a pale ale showcasing several of those hop varieties. It's an easy drinking beer, flavoursome enough for your father-in-law to exclaim, wow, that's fruity, yet complex enough for any green-blooded uh, let's recap that uh, green blooded hop head to appreciate enjoy these beer responsibly at refrigerating temperature with friends or family well I'm not sharing this because this one's all mine um, so American Pale Ale um, get this cracking Get it pour, same glass again. I'm not going to bother changing glasses over and over. Mm, not been much space between between the sittings of this session, so um, mm, yeah, lovely. Pours are nice, not so compact, but um, decent head with two fingers. Great colour, uh, a little bit hazy. Um, beautiful colour. Yep, there we go. APA on the nose. Definitely getting the malt, getting those hops. Um, I haven't really looked at the background. Let's see if I can pick what sort of hops have gone into this. Very well balanced. Balance of malt and bitterness, and this one's pretty good too. I'm going to say three C's on this one. Um, I'm I'm going to say Cascade Chinook and Centennial. Uh, I could be way off there, but I'm getting a lot of that Centennial and Chinook definitely in there. I wouldn't say Citra. I wouldn't say Columbus or um, um, CTZ. 
Yeah, definitely no Zeus or Columbus. I'm not really getting those those ones off it. Um, could be a touch of Columbus in there. Who knows? But I'm I'm, I'm saying Centennial, Citra, and Chinook for those ones. Um. <clears throat> There's a few floaties in this one. I've got a few floaties in the last one as well. I'm not sure whether that's um, intentional. It has no ill effect whatsoever on the on the beer. Um, I'm just going to give that a bit of a swirl to see whether there's any more of those floaties in there. I didn't get that many last time either, but they're definitely there. Cheers. It's a very nice beer. Um, never been disappointed by the um, Yakima Monster, and um, we'll continue to purchase that one on and off throughout the uh, throughout the year. Cheers! Remember to like, share, subscribe. Catch you in the next video.